Elm Creek area farmer is taking the RM of Gray to court. Pat Hood is fighting to keep a piece of his farmland from becoming a dumping ground for water. But as CTV's Michelle Goering reports, the RM claims it's Hood who's in the wrong. This is some of the nicest soil that you'll find. Pat Hood can't wait to get a crop growing in this field. He's owned this land for three years, but has yet to plant a thing. And when my water stays in, the, in, in, in my field till the end of July, it's pretty hard to farm it. Instead, he's launched a legal battle with the rural municipality of Gray over culverts and ditches. Mr. Hood really has no other alternative. It's either knuckle over or, or fight with them. The culverts and ditches have been there for years, but Hood believes they're diverting water onto his land illegally. So if the culverts are illegal in the road and it's going through my place, it's a man-made waterway. In its statement of defense, the RM claims the property is a natural wetland or slough, such that it naturally holds water. And it's Hood who has carried out certain unauthorized drainage works that are alleged to have negatively impacted the drainage patterns in the area, which have been consistent for years. They're talking about a half-mile-long dike Hood recently built along the west edge of his property. I'm looking after my future. Um, if it's good productive land, why would you want to put water on it? This longtime farmer isn't alone. Other neighbors have done the same. They say they're blocking water out of necessity. That seems to be the thing. You have to do it yourself. If you don't do it yourself, nothing gets done. And then they cry. It's great for ducks and geese, but it doesn't do much for paying the taxes. Hood isn't shy about his situation. I have absolute no choice but to do what I'm doing. Not to prove a point necessarily, but I mean just to protect what I've got. The dike holds back water and holds up signs, encouraging others to fight for their rights. Michelle Gerwing, CTV News, Elm Creek. The RM of Gray declined an on-camera interview. The case will be heard in court in February.